Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedaytullah with another new video. In this video, I'm just going to discuss with you what is nominal cover, what is clear cover, and what is effective cover. As a civil engineer, and if you want to be a construction engineer or design engineer, then this is most important for you. And also, for basic, it's also important for you. So let's uh, start and in our previous video they have used amount of civil engineering related video also they have software tutorials and also uh, civil engineering basic knowledge video so you can watch that every link and given in description and also if you're a civil engineer and if you uh, if you're new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so let's uh, start now suppose this is a here if we if you see here this is a cross section of a beam consider that this is a cross section of a beam now uh, its main bar diameter I mean this main bar is sorry here main bar is uh, 60 millimeter and its strap is 8 millimeter and the width of the beam is 250 millimeter and its 4500 millimeter okay I mean 450 millimeter its total height and uh, from outside of the bar I mean straight up and the out face of the surface of the beam is 40 millimeter now we'll see that our uh, what is our nominal cover what is our effective cover and what is our clear cover we'll see it okay so First of all, if I show you here, in reinforcement detail, drawing, and bar bending schedule, you usually come across the following terms, concrete cover, clear cover, nominal cover, and effective cover, okay? Concrete cover, clear cover, and nominal cover, okay? Also effective cover. Now, we consider the below beam cross section in this article to make you understand that the terms clearly okay i mean uh, here actually from that figure i'll just uh, show about everything clearly after that here consider that our beam size is 250 millimeter to 450 millimeter and the main bar size is 60 millimeter dia and our history up is 8 millimeter after that concrete cover actually what do you mean about concrete cover in reinforced concrete structure the reinforcement is surrounded by the sufficient concrete cover to protect the concrete from atmospheric condition which make concrete to guard it the distance is measured in different way and those different terms like killer cover nominal cover effective covers right after that i will uh, discuss with you what is actually clear cover what is actually clear cover then the clear cover is the distance between the exposed concrete surface without plaster and other finishes okay without plaster and anything to nearest surface of the reinforcing bar lock into the following image for the okay so here look here so this is the nearest bar I mean strip is the nearest bar of that uh, exposed concrete surface and from the nearest bar surface to that concrete surface that distance is known as clear cover right this distance is clear cover so here I have mentioned that CC from that point to that point okay see from close just see here from that point to that point right here after that this is about clear cover now I'll show you about nominal cover actually uh, the nominal cover is nothing but the terms clear cover is replaced by the terms nominal cover Clear cover is, I mean, nominal cover is nothing but clear cover. These two are main 
same meaning the nominal cover is the distance between the exposed concrete surface to nearest reinforcement bar it may be any bar or main bar longitudinal bar and even link or stair okay so it is clear that clear cover and nominal cover is uh, actually same after that effective cover what will be the actually i mean what is the effective cover actually this term is usually used in design calculation okay effective cover is usually used in design calculation the effective cover is the distance between the exposed concrete surface to the centroid of the main reinforcement clear the effective clear cover is the distance between the exposed concrete surface to the centroid of main reinforcement or we can define that in another way the effective cover is the distance between the outmost compression surface of the rcc to the center of the area of the main reinforcement in tension all right so from here if you show show you so this is our main reinforcement and from here if we come to that point so that will be our total uh, that distance will be our effective cover effective cover okay so i think uh, it's clear to you that what is clear cover nominal cover and effective effective cover and uh, that everything that every phenomenon are known as concrete cover okay i mean that everything are known as concrete cover after that if i show you a example here consider that our clear cover nominal cover is cc or nc equal to 40 mm after that effective cover what will be the effective cover actually so effective cover will be effective cover equal to clear cover uh, effective uh, effective cover equal to clear cover plus a dia of strap okay cc plus dia of strap and dia of main bar divided by 2 dia of main bar divided by 2 i mean half of main bar that means centroid of main bar Forty plus uh, the CC is forty. Then uh, dia of strap is eight millimeter, and the dia of main bar is sixteen, and divided by two. So if we calculate that, our total effective cover is fifty-six millimeter. So actually, in this way, we can calculate our that uh, clear cover, nominal cover, effective cover. I mean, uh, overall RCC cover so thank you thank you for watching and if you think that if you have learned something from here then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video share our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon your on comment is very very important for us so thank you thank you very much